know, Mark is out there telling everybody with Bernstein, saying that this is real, COVID is real. Show us the numbers. The numbers aren't there. Show us the science. The science is there. You want to know how we know? Look at Sweden, Mark. Look at Florida, Mark. Students are in classrooms right now, Mark. Why are we shut down? Is it possible that you love being that tyrant? You love those snowstorms? We haven't had enough snowstorms that you can shut our community down, Mark? Are we different in New York State, Mark? Like, are we like a different subspecies of human? Is that why? I thought we were New York tough, Mark. USA! 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 And this is also about our freedom, telling people they can have 10 people over their house on Thanksgiving. Come on, that's not freedom anymore. Most people Seven Eyewitness News spoke with at the protest say they understand the dangers of COVID-19. They believe the elderly and at risk should stay home while life continues as normal for everyone else. You can't force a business to shut down and then, you know, and then not help them out at all. And ultimately, uh, you know, where's the, you know, eventually you run out of money when you hand out money for helping businesses while you're shutting them down, not collecting any tax revenue. 10,000 people in the mall over the weekend, but you can't let two people, a couple people in for the haircuts. It's kind of ridiculous. I stand for freedom. I do not stand for locking people down, saying that uh, certain uh, people are not essential and everyone is essential. The frustration will most likely continue as all signs point to stricter restrictions as parts of Erie County moves closer to a red zone designation. Michael Caputo. The Trump administration installed him uh, at HHS in April, right, in the midst of this once in a century pandemic, despite a history of sexism and racism and conspiracy mongering. The New York Times reported that Caputo posted a video on Facebook yesterday in which, get this, he accused career government scientists of sedition, claiming they do not want America to get well, not until after Joe Biden is president. Caputo also claimed that Trump's opponents are now training for an armed insurrection after the election, telling his followers that hit squads are being trained all over this country, quote, and when Donald Trump refuses to stand down an inauguration, the shooting will begin. The drills that you've seen are nothing. He added, if you carry guns, buy ammunition, ladies and gentlemen, because it's going to be hard to get. Caputo then goes on to make a bizarre pro-Trump, anti-Joe Biden documentary featuring a star witness who the FBI says is a Russian agent selling Russian disinformation that definitely nobody should buy in the United States. He is a, he is a weird guy who turns up at weird points, often with a weird connection to Russia and to people getting convicted of serious felonies. That's the backstory on Trump campaign aide Michael Caputo. I'm not going anywhere. They're not going to run me out. If the president asks me to leave, I will leave. I really want to leave. Some of you who know me know that my health is failing. My mental health is definitely failing. I don't know. But I know this. I'm going to keep my family safe and you need to keep your family safe too. I'm going to shut off my Facebook soon because I don't want anybody leaking this to the media. If they do, I don't care. But I'd just rather not have that problem on top of this problem with uh, the, 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 the attacks in the media today. Um, it's going to last for a couple of days. They'll find another shiny thing and go after it. They want me gone. I'm not going anywhere. I don't care. They protested in front of my apartment in Washington yesterday. I'm not going anywhere. The problem is in Washington, I can't carry a gun. I can't be armed. So, end of the breach. End of the breach. If you carry guns, buy ammunition, ladies and gentlemen. 
because it's going to be hard to get. It's a sad, sad thing. I urge you, to, if you're in Buffalo or anywhere in New York, I urge you to look up the New York Watchmen. Uh, my friend Charlie has put it together. They're not a, uh, not a militia. They're just people who band together, like the, the friends of mine. You hear that guy went by? That guy just went by me and called me, be ashamed of yourself, you pig. That guy. Ladies and gentlemen, They're coming. Be ready.